Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Wajaha and today we're going to talk about Ethereum, specifically mining Ethereum. It's one of my favorite crypto technologies, incredibly innovative, hundreds and hundreds of use cases. It's just amazing. Now Ethereum, just like other first generation cryptocurrencies, uses something called proof of work. Essentially what that means is that in order to get more Ethereum in circulation, you have to do some work. That work revolves around using a computer's GPU to solve what's known as a cryptographic puzzle. The first person to solve this puzzle is the one who gets rewarded and with Ethereum's price being what it is today, hundreds if not thousands of people are mining Ethereum on a day-to-day -day basis. That has also led to people making mining farms like this in order to get as much power behind them as possible. You might be thinking how someone like me is going to compete with all those people with factories and warehouses full of mining rigs and the answer is I'm not. My little M1 Mac cannot compete with any of those. However, what I can do is I can join what's known as a mining pool and essentially that's just a load of people working together using their computer's GPU together and essentially just distributing the rewards out to all those people depending on how much effort or how much they've contributed towards the pool. That contribution or how much you're able to contribute is calculated using something called hash rate. The higher the hash rate, the more you're contributing and the more work your computer's doing and so the higher the reward. Anyway, I joined a mining pool and I wanted to start mining. Looking at Ethereum's price, you know, being around $2,000, I thought, damn, this is pretty lucrative. There's loads of mining pools you can join, but the one I did was with ETHPool. If you go onto Google, just a quick search, you can find all the details there. You can use their servers based on wherever you are in the world and you can get started with mining, even on a Mac. In terms of how to actually set this up on your computer, you need to download the miner and I'll leave a link to that in the description. If you go to releases on the right hand side and then click on pre-compiled binary, you can download the link for the ETH miner M1. Once you've got that downloaded and ready, you need to run some commands on terminal. Now, I won't go into that today, but I'll leave a video in the description that essentially just tells you exactly what you need to do. So just kind of copy that and you'll be ready and set. Run the ETH miner through terminal and it'll start up itself. You'll see a bunch of different code and then eventually you'll see your hash rate pop up on the screen as well. So the juicy part of the video, how much money do I make a day mining ETH on my M1 Mac? Are you ready for it? I make 10p a day, 10p a day, 10p a day. You see, your ability to mine depends on what your hash rate is. And unfortunately, my hash rate when mining with my M1 Mac is only around two mega hash per second. That is not very good. Macs have amazing processors, but they're just not optimized for mining at all. In fact, you're not even able to extract the maximum performance just because of how unoptimized it is. That's why, unfortunately, you're only gonna be making around 10 or 20p a day mining Ethereum. More importantly, the wear and tear that this causes on your machine is just so not worth it. If you're gonna do this, please don't do it long-term because it's really gonna damage your Mac. You won't make anywhere near enough money for a new one as well. If you do wanna get into mining properly, then I suggest you look into buying yourself a mining rig and it can be quite costly, but in the long run, it can pay off quite significantly for you, especially as the price of Ethereum continues to go up. I mean, who knows, maybe we can see a $5,000 or even a $10,000 Ethereum in the future. You need to remember that proof of work, which is the consensus mechanism that Bitcoin and Ethereum uses, uses a lot of energy. That comes at the cost of your electricity bill. If you're going to take this seriously, I recommend you calculate all the different costs beforehand, including your energy and electricity bills. If you're someone like me, then I recommend staking instead of mining. I'm gonna make a video about this in the future, so make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bells on so you are ready when that video comes out. I'll make it in the next few weeks. Drop a comment down below if you want any other videos on the channel. And as always, I'll be back with another video soon.